Hull Kingston Radio is a brand new community run radio station serving the Hull area. This programme follows the weeks leading up to the launch and the all important first broadcast. 2015 will be the year that community radio in Hull just got interesting. Get ready for the launch. Good morning. Welcome to Hull Kingston Radio 107.4. I'm Pete Mills. Well, it's a vision to bring something to East Hull in terms of radio that it hasn't had before and make it sound the way I think it should sound and have the people involved that I think are the right characters to be involved. Pete Mills has had years of experience in radio but this is his chance to run things the way he wants and build a real community station from the ground up. Today sees the arrival of the studio apparatus. Pete's got the right idea. And what this basically does, this sits, one of these sits in the rack room behind you. The signal goes across to the transmission point and then it goes to the transmitter. And it's, then it's out. When it comes to complex broadcasting equipment, Pete is a technical guru, but today Hello. appears to be having problems at a base level. John, speak to me. Hello, F calling John. Ground control to John Gibbons, are you there? No, my phone's just died on me, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Quite frankly, a good number of LFC fans have seen past the name and, and where we are. And it is a radio station and it is going to provide a service. So any old City fans, there's no, I am not showing any allegiance to either of the rugby teams. I'm an old City supporter. Let's get that straight, straight away. <laughs> In fact, you know, if truth be known, I'm not a rugby, I'm not the world's greatest rugby fan. I'm, I never have been. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm you know football football fan. I'm an old city fan from a sins. We rely on the goodwill uh, and the hours given by by our volunteers. And we, without our volunteers, we would be nothing. There's nobody. Nobody at this station is bigger than the station itself, and that includes me. Of all the radio stations in Hull, we're one of them. Hull Kingston Radio. It's one Oliver station. It's Pete Mills on the jam, on the way. Uh, we have an entire American state singing a song for us. Katie Tunstall sings about her two favourite pubs and some band or other are trying to find a needle in an A-stack. Find out all they are after this. Despite the radio market being as crowded as it is, Pete gives an insight into why he thinks there's a gap for Hull Kingston Radio to fill. There's still, still plenty of space in the market for a good station that's packed full of different personalities and good music, plays good music, not the same 300 tracks over again and over and over again. Um, and uh, this is what we've got here, I think, I think we've, got, we've got the makings of an absolutely fantastic radio station that is, is just going to rock it, hopefully. Pete is training Terry, a nightclub DJ who has volunteered to present a show on the station. Here's a quick update on your weather this afternoon, it's uh, quite windy outside, Sun shining, it's very deceivable, so uh, make sure your ass all wrapped up. Pete shares his years of wisdom and gives Terry a few pointers on his presentation technique. I dent the station, you know, it's all Kingston Radio 107.4 FM. Mm. It's Terry McKay, it's Lairs, Children Night, how are you doing? Blah, 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 a bit of chat and just say, and you know, I made, made, made a boo boo by saying I'd like to listen mm. to your text. Yeah, yeah. I think Terry's done absolutely brilliant today. Terry, as it is, with him being a DJ, he's used to, used to working with a crowd in front of him. When you're working as a, as a DJ in a nightclub uh, and so forth, if something's not working, you can change it. You know what I mean? You can change it to, to, to put, fill the floor. A radio station, you can't, you can't do that because you can't see your audience. I'm feeling a lot more relieved now than when we first walked in this morning. We put the news fader up and um, put the wrong fader up and we missed a couple of seconds of the news, um, managed to get it back on track. So I thought that was the first mess up. And you know what they say, it always comes in threes. Uh, the second one came along not too long after. Uh... <laughs> it's just sort of picking up on what daily events is going on, just talking about it. Uh, once you've got the reaction coming in from the members of the public, then you can feed off that. It is all about the local area. It's not about something in a different town, different, you know, a different area. It is all about Hull. It's Hull people on the radio, and it's all about the Hull area. Anybody that we put on air, it's, it's an incredibly proud, proud moment because it's you know uh, it's giving people an opportunity, uh, you know, to learn a different skill and, and 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 to get the first proper step on on the ladder in the radio industry, uh, and, and it's you know it's hard to get in. It's an hard industry to get into. It's even harder to keep in it. 
And now the, the, you know a lot of uh, the, the big groups have, have axed the, the late night and the overnight presenters. You know they've got to get their new blood from somewhere, and, and, and where they will get it from is from community radio stations, exceptionally good community radio stations like us. Edwin Starr, contacts. It's exactly what I'm going to tell you how to do. 715 105 on the telephone if you fancy giving us a call. Telling us what your moments was in the 70s. Hull Kingston Radio. It's the station all your friends are listening to. And if they're not, then they're no friends of yours. Today he's overseeing the installation of the transmission equipment. Hey, up there by the looks of it. This gentleman is Ian Nicklin uh, from Transplan, uh, the transmitter engineers uh, and what have you. Ian, um, I, I just for the uninitiated, could you actually tell us what Transplan as a company do? We do everything, literally the whole thing. If somebody says, we'd like a radio station please, we can take it right from there to having them on air. Which is marvellous stuff for yep. any new radio station like Old Kingston Radio. Um, anyhow, what, what is basically is going to happen at this end of the... This end of the, in the grand scheme right. of things. We need to get uh, your studio signal from your studio over to the transmit site, which is on top of the Bocca Flats over there. Yep. And then that goes into the transmission and processing system there and then becomes an FM signal. Easy as that. Easy as that. Easy. While the dish is being installed, next on the list is a two mile trip to the transmission site to install another microwave dish. Down at the transmission site, uh, we've been up there already. Uh, you've uh, obviously seen what the situation is up there. Do you anticipate any problems with the installation, Phil? The only thing that I can see really happening is um, we've got to be a bit cautious because the rad has up, up on yeah. top because there's um, already a lot of stuff up there. We've identified a site and now we're just cutting a pole to length to get into the lift. It's a little bit smaller than what we first thought, but I'm sure we'll get over that problem. Uh -huh. um, just unload the transmission equipment get the microwave dish up and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Right, this is about as far as we can go. We can't get you any further um, due to the council even, you know, trying to bend their arm, uh, the what have it. So you're gonna have to stay down here. And then um, I've got to put this uh, papoose on. I'm filming things. Newly appointed camera operator Pete now has the task of filming up on the roof of the block of flats. A difficult enough task on its own, but for a man with a dislike for heights, it's a chance to show his commitment to the station. That's where our transmission point's going to be. We'll take you to where the lads are now. I don't know about you two, because I know you do this for a living, but I am absolutely crapping myself. I hate heights. Does that mean I've got to go up there? Oh, God. Proud, proud moment. The transmitter's up. And even the sun's come out to greet it. With Pete's filming work done, there's just time for a quick photo on his mobile before heading back down to ground level to calm his nerves. Hull Kingston Radio. It's what Hull's been waiting for. Yeah, well, that and an IKEA. The launch day has arrived and Pete is as excited as a toddler on caffeine. He gathers the troops for a final pep talk and explains the running order for the day. Out the window this morning, there's Garrison Road and deep in front of me, and I can see right down to the bridge. And, I'm, and if you thought about it, I was looking at it thinking, do you know what? In two hours' time, all those people, right, could be listening. And when you think about it, you're thinking, God. And as far as we're concerned, we're speaking to one person, and that one person is up. Connor and Sean are in the car, and they're like, put on Dad's station, put on Dad's station, and then. Uh, Played a song Sean didn't like, like turn off that station. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Dave are opening up the station. Fiona has the first proper live show. Uh, later on this afternoon, uh, around about two o'clock, it's like a, a presenter's free for all for a couple of hours where anything could happen. And there'll be music played as well. Someone somewhere pushes a big red button and Hull Kingston Radio is finally live on air. Pete and Dave have the privilege of being the first voices heard on the FM airwaves to a captivated radio audience. Good morning. Welcome to Hulkingston Radio 107.4. I'm Pete Mills. And I'm Dave Nightingale. And 18 months, 50 grand, and an idea from the bloke sat next opposite, opposite me. And this is it. This we're is here. It. We're, we're here. live. This is not a test hall. This is it. This is it. We're, we're here. We're here. Finally. For a long, long time. And the rest. And the rest. And as they say, uh, it could be the greatest day 
It's all Kingston Radio 107.4 FM. I'm Pete Mills, and that's the boy band that went away, came back a man band, and ended up a trio. Take that, the greatest day, and it is a great day. Uh, good afternoon, Lee Templeman. How are afternoon, you? Pete. How are you? I'm, I'm all right. I'm still buzzing. I'm, I'm, I'm still here. But I've you... been awake all night. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sort of like caffeined up. So I, know, I got the text at silly o'clock this morning. Oh dear me, so what a day, eh? what a day for the launch this day, what a launch that was this morning, wasn't it? fantastic. The launch has attracted the attention of local news and Pete is a man in demand. Everyone wants to know the story of the station and Pete is ever willing to tell it. Well this morning uh, we've just launched the station at 9am this morning. Uh, it's the culmination of 18 months hard work. We've uh, put this radio station together, uh, we've got volunteers, absolute fantastic group of volunteers. Um, I couldn't have wished for a better team of people, they are tremendous. This station is going to go places, it really is going to go places. A lot of work has gone into it, still a lot of work to do. Um, the people that I've put in place, presenter wise, um, it's not their ability, even though they are good, it's the characters that, 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 that are making the places, people that are deliberately making, putting people together that, that I think they can work together. The people of all. I've taken this station to the heart and, and it is very much what it says on the tin, it is a station for the communities in Hull. This is all Kingston Radio, 107.5 FM, serious broadcasting. Good grief. The launch day has been a huge success and even for a man who has a constant smile on his face it's clear to see that Pete is really buzzing. It's been a long time coming but the future is looking good for Hull Kingston Radio to make new waves in the community. On FM online and on your mobile this is Hull Kingston Radio 107.4 FM